New Town. Welcome back everyone to the New Town channel. And today's vlog is going to be a voiceover. And the reason why is because my husband doesn't like talking on the camera. So, as you can see, he is making what we call loo. And the meat that he is putting in there is turkey tail. He has already seasoned the meat. Basically, you can use uh, salt, pepper, any of your favorite spices like garlic powder, onion powder, uh, red peppers, or even uh, Cajun. Whatever you desire, you could use it. The key ingredient to making Lou is using coconut milk. Yes, the coconut milk will bring all those flavors all together. And with that, you can use any type of meat. You could use lamb, you could use chicken, or you could use corned beef in a can. It's really up to you. Or if you don't want to, you can just do it without. This meat right here is lamb, and in the foils that are already made, that is the turkey tail. As you can see in our household, we don't do one at a time. We do at least three, four, five loos at a time. And the reason why is because this is going to be our Sunday dinner, and everyone after church will come over to our house and eat. Right here, he's putting in onions that he's already chopped up. You can also put in tomatoes if you like or any type of vegetables um, to your desire. I would say mainly probably like peppers, onions, or tomatoes would taste really good with the loo. As for my family and I, we like to just have our loo with onions, seasoning, and whatever meat is inside because the green taro leaves are our vegetables. Welcome back to the New Town channel. And today is Sunday, and back in the island, we always would do an umu on Sunday, well, Sunday mornings, and then go to church. And so today, Donna decided to do an umu before we go to church. Tana had all the food prepped the night before, as you have already seen. And now it is time for him to put it inside our umu that he made outside. Traditionally, you would just dig a really big hole and then set a lot of rocks on fire and put them on, place them at the very bottom of the hole. And then you put your food in there and then you cover it with banana leaves and then after you put the banana leaves over it then you would cover it up with dirt after that you would put like some cardboard boxes and you'd wet them with water um, you could also use a blanket keep in mind you're not going to put the food in while the flames are going you're gonna wait for those flames to die out and so in our umu Dana put in uh, some firewood and those are like lava rocks that he got from like home depot and he's just heating those rocks and then once those rocks are heated and he's going to put the flames out and then stick all of the food inside the oven now obviously our oven is above and so yeah he's doing it this way he'll place another rack on top and then repeat the process of putting more food on that rack and then he'll close it up. What you're seeing on the bottom rack is lamb ribs, yuca or cassava, and then those two big old um, foil is horse. Just kidding, that's not horse. That's not how we make our horse, to be honest with you. I don't even know how to make the horse, but I know we don't put it in the umu. I know there's a different way of doing it. And I will find out, and when I find out, I'll probably do a video and let you guys know. So Donna's just finishing up putting in all the loose, and his umu actually cooks pretty fast. It took about an hour and a half for everything to cook, but because we went to church, it cooked for two hours, and so it was a little overcooked, um, but all in all, it was still delicious. Uh, 
Okay, so here Donna had put the cover for one of our uh, triggers over the Omo. So he has a blanket underneath as well as the cover. And then he put um, what looks like to be a rack on top to hold it down. The smoke is coming out from the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. It's not coming out uh, from the top like um, other umus that we've done in the past. So there it is. And <clears throat> because we have a little bit of a wind, it's not smoking up our neighborhood. I mean, you could smell it, but it's not like that strong smell as we've had in the past, which I know some neighbors have complained like, what is that smell? And is there a fire in the neighborhood? No, so it's actually pretty, this technique is actually uh, working well for where we live in our area. from the umu it's the manioke we have uh what is this lu where's lu moitipi lu sipi and this is my lu pulu that's mine this is my plate i got some sui rice potato salad and feke uni some sui Creamy mushroom chicken with stuffy, some sweet potato salad and loopy. Oh, and I got a little pull right here. So right here, I am just eating my dinner. This is the loo cooked. I have the one with the corned beef inside, which I really like. And I am enjoying it. But that's it for today's vlog. Thank you all for watching. And I appreciate all my new subscribers who have come and checked out my videos. And all of those who have been watching our journey. Thank you so much. And have a good night. Thanks for watching. Bye.